The final chapter in the trial of Felipe Vasquez wrapped up this afternoon as the convicted killer was informed of his punishment. NTV's Alex Whitney brings us those details from the sentencing. On September 7, 2020, my dad died and so did you. Your life ended the moment you shot and killed my dad as living is more than just an existence. Living is growing and changing. It's defined as being alive. Sitting in shackles in front of a courtroom full of the family, friends, and co-workers of Mario Herrera, Felipe Vasquez learned that he will be spending what is likely the rest of his life behind bars after being convicted of first-degree murder and six other charges for the killing of the Lincoln police investigator. By my calculations, Mr. Vasquez, you must serve a total of 71 years, minus credit for any time previously served towards parole eligibility. Your sentence to life imprisonment must be commuted to a term of years for mandatory discharge. Before he was sentenced, Vasquez pled to Herrera's family asking for forgiveness. It was the first time that he had addressed the family since the trial began. But just a short time later, one of Mario's daughters read an emotional statement to the courtroom, sharing the pain of losing her father and letting Vasquez know that he wouldn't find any forgiveness from the family. You took away somebody from them, every single person in this courtroom, and you deserve everything you get. So you were a coward at that time, and you still are, and you always will be. After Vasquez was led away to start his sentence, the Herrera family reflected on the ordeal of the trial and how their perception of Vasquez changed as more testimony was heard. Um, we kind of felt sorry for him, but then after day after day and we heard more testimony of what he was like, um, it quickly went away. Vasquez will serve the first two years of his sentence at a facility in Omaha before he will be transferred to Tecumseh State Prison to serve out the rest of his time. Vasquez will not be eligible for parole until 2093, when he will be nearly 90 years old. So while I celebrate another year of my life, while I grow up and graduate college, while I get married someday and have kids of my own, and when I get to be too old and can barely move, you'll be sitting in a cell, still that same 17-year-old kid that killed my dad. Reporting from Lincoln, I'm Alex Whitney.